This is not your fault. You guys don't know anything about this. Hi, welcome. This is me. Hi, I'm Anna. I recorded this video yesterday. Um, super excited. We went over to my mailbox, picked up the package, opened it up right here. All of the excitement. We saw the beautiful postcard from the order. This is a documented journey from 2024. Free. Um, and we were here to open um, to open my brand new cork and so that footage got lost because I was trying to edit and upload while I was out and so that was a mess but it's okay we're here now right so here's what's going on um, I had a car accident in April um, and life got turned way upside down. Complete chaos. Um, in the fact that I had to understand that um, life was changing very quickly and that I needed to adapt to it. Um, there's also been a lot of frustration, uh, a lot of sadness. My, um, it all started with neck pain, shoulder pain, back pain, um, elbow pain, uh, hand pain specifically in the um, thumb which still doesn't do a full grip which makes it incredibly hard to do what I do journaling um, watercolor um, you know even just like regular stuff anyways so what is a girl to do when she's in a B5 um, you know, living her best life creatively, planner-wise, journal, like I had just moved in here, filmed the whole video talking about how excited I was, um, and so, boom, the accident, what to do, what to do, what to do, uh, you gotta go back to basics. Um, and that, for me, means just planning just making sure that my brain is empty of what I need to do where I need to be the things lists to do lists because um, I have this rehearsal loop going on in my head which just means that I keep reminding myself the things over and over again because my brain just doesn't want to forget it so dun -dun -dun, we went back to a6 I happen to have this a6 Stology in my journal bin. Um, it's a half year. I had already uh, made intentions for it as a different kind of journal. And, uh, and so it was just sitting there and I was just like, okay, appointments, life, track, go, to do. Um, this was just not something that I could carry around anymore um, or do anymore because this doesn't travel alone. This travels with a bag full of supplies so that I can do stuff in it. Way too heavy because even though this is the hurt arm, this arm was involved in an accident 13 years ago and I didn't do the proper due diligence physical therapy for it because I was 20 and whatever, didn't know any better. But so this arm has always been weaker Number one. Number two, it's now doing the duty of both arms. So it's carrying a lot. And just recently, after like a whole month and a half of physical therapy, they're starting to notice that this side <laughs> needs to catch up also and start like exercising. So, because I'm starting to develop pain on the other side. Not cool, not here to like, you know, feel bad about it. I walked away and I am fine. I am able to sit here and talk to you guys about what makes me happy. Um, and so here's what made me happy. Um, in 2021 and 2022, when I had the few months um, in the Stology and then I moved in the entire year into the Stology to the A6, um, I had these guys in a leather covers and those covers are wonderful and amazing but it's been about seven months since I put my covers away in storage um, I just didn't want them out during the move the dust pollen 
And they're just, you know, on the shelf. They look nice, but they're not really doing anything. So I was just like, let me just put them away. And the journals are probably naked. But I was just like, the B5, the big one, has this. This fits composition notebook. This also fits my iPad. This is a cork leather. Um, cork, what's this, thing? this is a cork cover by Brie from Documented Journey. And the amazing part about it is not only is it vegan, it's you know environment friendly. It's you know I have to clean this because look at the look at the usage of this. This is a couple of years old. Um, this is so lightweight that it like it would literally do you know and i wanted pockets i just wanted to do something so tax season mother's day birthday all kind of combined into one for a you know treat yourself kind of gift and so this is what i came up with now the wonderful thing about brie is that she helps you customize it because she's seeing it there you know, in real life, whereas you're seeing it on the website. And so I'm just like, oh, I want this, 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 this. I thought I wanted something. And then she's just like, well, do you want contrast? Do you want this? And so she t walk, walks you through in a so patient way so that it comes together and it looks exactly like something that really just is unique and special to you. And so um, I can't afford to buy these often. Um, because Brie absolutely deserves what she and more um but they to for me for my for my budget i have to save up and it's just such a gift so here's what i did we got here a honey cork cover a6 with an ochre inside I went all out on this one. We also have the Daisy Pockets, the Daisy Pen Loop, and a Honey Cork, um, help me, bookmark. Next, the front has a jagged branch pocket with a brass, Brass charm sewn into bottom right. Um, and so you, oh, and it comes with Bree's um, new stamp. Now, this her stamp is newer than my other cork. I have two corks, maybe possibly three, but I use the B5 the most. And this one, I have like, I think it's an A5, the other one. So I haven't been in the A5 for a while. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. So, this is what I got. Sorry we couldn't open it together again, but I'm gonna flip you guys up so we can put it all together again, and I'll give you guys a little flip of my planner and what I've been doing, okay? Alrighty then, here we go. So I've got some things here. Um, so this is my cork cover. And this is my A6 Stology. And this goes in there. And um, so I did one little thing to customize it even further. Um, just give me one second. We'll just put that there. Okay. You gotta squash it. This is my favorite stencil. I use these numbers all the time. And for that, I cut a slit into my front pocket here so that it fits perfectly okay so let's take a flip through the journal oh we're barely even making it through the all right let's move all this stuff back okay so there we are in frame stencils in place pen is in place pen is the same pen is the multi um, Zebra Sarasa in 05s. I've got brown, purple, and red inks in here for planning, journaling, um, color coding the kids' stuff, appointments and stuff. Like I said, I had an intention here that I had done really, really long time ago. A little uh, eclectic witch. I've got my index, um, some space for index, 
uh, some art that I eventually want to get to, my, my tarot card of the year, my word of the year. We've got uh, back planning because I have to just, I have to know when everything happens. Then I jump into future planning. Um, this journal change took place in May. So it only felt prudent to leave May out of that and just start <clears throat> here. Um, it was a little confusing like the first month, but now that we're past it, it doesn't matter. So anyways, we have month of May, weeklies, tracker, a little bit of that um, junk journaling, whenever I have a little bit of ephemera. What I'm doing new here though is I have some feelings. You know what I mean? Lots of feelings, guys. Lots of feelings. So I felt like writing. Don't feel like painting. I can't paint or I, I don't know. They're saying that might be psychosomatic. Maybe. Um, in any case, when I have these big feelings in this journaling, um, I want to keep it all together and it lives here. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of washi, which is reminiscent of uh, the year spent in the astrology when I did, when I used my washi to do the um, tabs, the monthly tabs, which now I'm thinking that I might actually want to start doing to keep track because, you know, I have these, but mine are better. <laughs> so again, weekly journaling, washi, little side pocket situation, you know what I mean? Um, tracker. Then we went out, um, I don't know if you guys know, but Mr. Panda, aka my husband, um, is a chef. So we walked into his place and we were given his little chef special. And I was just so proud because he just came up with this like really cool idea of doing this salted pretzel cheesecake, which is, um, it's a beer company, so they use the stout and brown ale infused into the cheesecake. And then he made the um, the pie crust with salted pretzel um, and then a homemade um, arequipe, which is like um, a Hispanic um, caramel, uh, homemade caramel topping. And that was just like, it just made me proud. And then that same kind of week, we had some big news and my kids left me some post um, some notes that are incredibly personal, but incredibly save worthy. And so it created this little pocket where it's like extra, extra, like, you know, all the news. And then um, some stuff from my birthday. I got a soap uh, from Lush. I got, we went to this like arcade thing. It's for my cake from a, ban like a banana, I don't know. Oh, and then this washi tape came on with the order, uh, with Bree's order, so that was cool. Um, another weekly, another tracker. This was on the um, package and well, yesterday's video, you saw me gluing it there, but yeah, sorry. We planned for June. Um, I got myself a lavender plant for the yard yesterday. I'm really excited. It's my first plant, like outdoor plant. Um, the weekend and then we've got uh, our first weekly in here. I'm going really slow because you know there's that possibility that I want to like journal or um, I'm not really trying to do a lot more in here. It's really just a planner what you see here. I you know I'm not trying to write a whole lot. A6 is a small enough page. It's like the size of my hand literally is why I love this so much. So what I do here is I have a tab for the month Again, like I said, I'd love to, I think I'm going to start doing this, this ombre thing with my washi. We all know I have plenty of my own washi still left, so I do to definitely pull that off. And then this bookmark um, belongs here in the weekly, wherever I'm at. This is not centered. There we go. That's like that. And then, um, yeah. Uh, so... What I love the most about the A6 is that it's so small, portable. Obviously, my hand is teeny tiny. And then, because I'm a fan, I'm part of the fan club, guys. I'm part of the fan club. Um, look, here's my Berry Wallet by Documented Journey. I don't know what the name of this cork was because I bought this one as is. Um, but I know this is Berry. And then it just fits perfectly into... The pocket which is so cool because it's jagged and then it has this tab right 
You can put your keys on it, but I, look at this guys. I like to keep my, um, this is a, uh, my lip balm. I get this at Dollar Tree. It's like salt, uh, salt something. Himalayan pink salt ish. It doesn't give me allergies, so I like it. Look at this, look at this cute little package. Don't you just wanna like grab this, toss it in your bag and go, or toss it in your passenger seat and go. Because literally, this is my phone, this is my thing. It fits in the claw. We all, ladies, we know about the claw, right? It's the claw. This is the claw, it's a clutch. We're ready to go. It's summer and we don't have time for all the, the you know, the beach bag has space for all that, but we don't take the beach bag everywhere. So this is it. We'll talk more about what um, other things creatively I'm doing on the side um, to keep myself busy and entertained. Uh, but for right now, we're all caught up, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And sorry about yesterday, but you know, things happen and boohoo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.